Hey friends, this is Ashley over at Uncommon Roots Homestead and Liam. And today we are over on the land and we are gonna be putting those blueberries in the ground that we bought last weekend. Um, and walking around, talking a little bit about the garden and preparing. It finally is starting to feel like spring. Today is a little bit chillier. Um, I think the high is like 40, but tomorrow the high is 58 and it's gonna be sunny and I just can't wait. So let's take a look around the farm. Let's go. We're not scared of chickens. No, 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 no. <laughs> How's he doing? <laughs> well, a little dicey there for a second. We are perpetually dealing with a three-year-old who is simultaneously scared of the chickens, but also wants to be in here with us. Not really sure how you how you work that one out. You want to come in? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on in. Hurry up before they go out. Hurry. Just come in. Hurry up. I will. Come on, hurry up. You first. Hurry up. Go see Fury. Go see Fury. Go walk over there and see him. See how he's doing. Now I know why uh, most homesteaders who vlog either don't have young children or you don't see their young children very often. quite the adventure, friends. Hurry, get out of my plant. Hey, hey, excuse me, excuse me, hey. Don't eat my plant. Okay, friends. <laughs> what are these? They seem to be growing kind of um, haphazardly here. If this guy doesn't kill them, but they're they're growing. They seem like something that maybe spreads. I didn't plant them, um, and I don't know what they are. But we've got a bunch of them over here, and then a couple right here. I don't know what I don't know what those are. I didn't plant them. Um, but, ah, uh, something is in my, something is in my garden bed. What has done this? This is my onion bed. These are onions. And something has clearly helped we still, itself. We still aren't really sure what type of pests that we're going to deal with here at the land. This will be our first full growing season, actually planting here. Um, so... I'm not really sure what some of these, you know, we get like random holes, like by these blueberries. There's a hole right where is my hand right there. Um, I don't know what did that. Uh, some kind of animal, probably a rodent would be my guess. I don't know. Um, not really, not really sure, but we'll keep an eye on it. We're still not planning on fencing this area in, at least not right now. Um, We'll see as we get into the season if, you know, stuff starts disappearing or we have a lot of issues, we'll try a fence. But I'm going to guess, like, by the size of some of these little holes, 
I think I'm dealing with something more, more rodent maybe or something. I don't know. Here, look at this. It's See that? Bed. Like all these little holes. In a raised bed though is what's confusing. And look at this. Here's another section of these, whatever these are, that are growing. These don't have the little bulbs on the top yet, but it's the same plant. Something so interesting about being in a new place and gardening in a new place for the first time um, because we don't know, like there's a lot of stuff that we're noticing this time around as spring is starting to roll in that we're like, what is that? I don't remember seeing that last year. We, we owned this last summer, um, but it was new. We weren't really like spending a lot of time here. We didn't have any infrastructure here. So we hadn't, hadn't really, I guess, paid attention to what some of these things are. So it'll be interesting this year to see, you know, what the good, like what things are planted here that we didn't realize. We know we have a pear tree that, we think the deer took all the pears last year, um, but this year we're gonna try to combat that and get to them early. Um, like we know that we have some really pretty flowers that pop up around the garage, but what we don't know is what type of pests are we gonna deal with here? What, what type of predators do we have? You know, we have Fury to guard the chickens, but he's still, so young he's not really old enough to do that yet um so it's all new and it's all exciting and i think that's one of the things that's fun about first starting this adventure is that you don't you don't exactly know what you don't know what you're going to deal with you don't know what you're going to come up against it's never the same so you know things that we dealt with at you know our current house um and gardening and pests and things like that it won't be the same here even though we're in the same zone same area um, it's just not going to be the same. So I think we're excited and crossing our fingers a little bit that nothing is, uh, you know, that we don't have some problem that we don't know about already, but we are about to grab some shovels and plant these blueberries. So let's do it.
find yourself a man who will let you buy 18 blueberry bushes and then help you plant them. It's true love, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like PDA. I'm carrying a, a baby on his back. Yeah, a sleeping baby. His big hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you have an older sister. Um, so we did decide to do one other thing. We moved this apple tree um, right here. I just dug him up. We had started a second row that we were thinking we would do a second row of trees. And now that we're looking at it, I'm actually going to use all of this space for my garden. Um, the potager garden is going to be our primary kitchen garden. I want to have as much space as possible. And ultimately, like this front portion of our land. Hey, come here. We're telling, we're telling our friends something. Ultimately, this front portion of our land is where... Okay. <laughs> Kids these days. Ultimately, this front portion of our land doesn't have any other use. Okay. Like I was saying... Ultimately, this front portion of our land. Come here, come show me the garden. Where are you going to plant? Um, it doesn't have any other purpose. There's nothing else that we can really do up here. Can't keep animals up here. It's too close to the road. Um, it gets full sun. So why not use every inch of this acre that we can? Um, and it's probably about just over half an acre that's totally cleared. When we get to the back portion of the front part of the property, it's got some trees and stuff that... We're not really thinking about that right now, but yeah. So we've got one line of trees. I'm gonna extend the potager garden all the way up here, um, all the way down there. And then once it starts kind of gradually sloping off, we're gonna continue the fruit trees and do some raspberries and things like that. I like to eat cows and pigs. Yeah, we will get cows and pigs to eat them. Hmm. I'll eat them all day. You will? Are you eating dirt? A little bit of dirt in your mouth. <laughs> Should we go run the perimeter? Let's go. All right, we're getting in some trampoline time. Uh, we finished the blueberries. Um, and, you know, I was just sitting here thinking, like, I am so thankful. Um, a lot of areas of the country right now, I'm watching you. A lot of areas in the country are dealing with really severe weather. And days like today, our promise that spring is coming and it doesn't last forever. And I am so thankful, like a break from the 20 degree cold and the snow we've been getting to have a day that it's 42 degrees, but it feels warm because we're able to get out and work with our hands and work in the soil. And it's just such a primitive reminder of where we came from and where we're going. And there's such a promise in that. So if you're in the midst of a really cold, hard winter, have hope. Spring is coming and it'll be here before you know it. And seasons only last for a season. And there's nothing more comforting to me than knowing that. Um, so friends, I wanna encourage you, if you're having beautiful glimpses of what is to come in spring weather right now, get out and enjoy it. Do something, plant something, get your hands in the soil. If you're buried under snow and it's freezing and start some seeds inside like we did this morning, um, make the most out of this, make the most out of this season. Thank you for joining us today. Ayla, right, say goodbye to our friends. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> Bye, friends.